Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Future Haley popping in here just to give you a proper intro and outro to today's video. So thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do so. It'll be linked up above and down below in the description. So make sure to see that. It's all about how we decorated our downstairs portion of this townhome. And like you already know from the title, today's video was talking about this room behind me and my bathroom. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And also check out the description to see any of these products linked down below. So if you're interested in maybe Black Friday shopping or going ahead and planning for your college town, home, apartment, dorm, whatever you're feeling, make sure to check the description down below. And I'll also link last year's dorm tour video. So if you're living in the dorms or thinking about living on campus at Clemson, make sure to check out that video. I also have an empty room tour. Check out both videos. They'll be down below in the description and then in the iCard above. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and check out my room and bathroom. back to enter my room let's go ahead and check it out when you first walk in as you can see right now the prominent thing is my bed so I have a full-size bed and so I have the blanket I had last year for my dorm pretty sure it's from Ross I'll link the video from last year because a lot of these things I did reuse from last year and so you can find more information about it from that video so check that video out if you haven't and I'll leave it linked down below so I have the backrest that I had from last year this big long pillow and then the deck decorative pillows. The only difference is I have this white duvet and these pom-pom looking bed skirt that kind of matches this full-size bed. I did get the duvet and the whole set from Tuesday morning and then I got the cute little pillow right here from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like an Ugg pillow. Super cute. And then these sheets I got from from TJ Maxx. So this is the pillowcase for the sheet set that I have. So you can see those are the sheets. And then I have a silk pillowcase that I had from before. So yeah, this is the bed. I love it. I think it's the perfect size for this room. The headboard is from Wayfair. So it is this very dark gray. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. It almost looks like black or like navy blue, but it's just a very, very intense gray look. And then behind it, as you can see, I have these cute little twinkly lights that I hung up and I'll show you guys right now video clip of me at night with them on because they're super cute and I think they really accent this wall very well. Over to the left of the bed we have this Ikea nightstand. I'll leave it linked below. Then we have this lamp that my mom purchased from TJ Maxx. It was very inexpensive and I love the marbling here. Again it kind of ties in that gray and white look. I love this little chain. So this is the lamp I love using in the morning as you saw in my morning routine and just turning it on. And so within my nightstand we have like this little bin that I purchased I think last year so probably gone but probably from Big Lots. I have my TV remote my airpods some keys some hand sanitizer again you just gotta have it around and then I have this like miscellaneous basket it has little like coupons and deals a spoon and napkin in case I need it so I have all that readily available in my first drawer down here we have like all the electronic cords and stuff all twisted up some like rain gear and stuff this is the airpods box some tissues because we're getting into, you know, cold season and you gotta have tissues readily available. That was just a random little box I needed to keep. I have my phone charger down there because my phone's usually charging up here during the night. And yeah, that's kind of that area. You go to the left, back there's the bathroom. We'll address that in a second after the room. We have this mirror that I have intentions of hanging. Did it and it fell down. So for right now, it's just gonna be leaning on this basket, which will eventually it'll be hanging above. I have this basket I used to have in my dorm last year. It still has kind of the same things, the blank it, the frisbee kind of like outdoor stuff I just keep it in there stick it in there over here is my closet I have my like kavoo bag because I have all of my Percy items in here this is my closet it is quite nice I love how you can walk in it kind of like last year definitely has more space though but I have up here holiday stuff my camera bag my mic all that stuff there random stuff in this basket up here I have my like dressier like work kind of outfits here 
have a little lock box, this like camera cannon bag box that I needed to keep. I have all the great drawers I had before and I just use this kind of as like my dresser area. It has all of my undergarments, nail stuff, just basically the same stuff as last year. Just took out a lot of the bathroom stuff and put it in the actual bathroom. That's the only difference there. I have a basket with all of my like towels, the irons up there, like random tools, supplies are in these bins. And then I have more kind of like nicer casual clothes. I have up there another duvet. I have my jackets and my like nicer work tops. And then I have some extra hangers, my little ironing board, my ring light, my tripods back here, that other step stool so I can reach things up top. Got this shoe rack and it is absolutely great. Got it from Target. I'll leave it down below if they still are selling it. And it expands, which is why I love it. So it can literally fit this size closet. Or if I went somewhere else, I could still bring it along and I could just stretch it to the size and the width that I need. So I think it's very universal. I love how it's so versatile and would recommend. Love this little shoe rack. That's why I had to bring you guys in my closet next to my closet we have my TV console and it holds of course my TV and then I have this cute little item that I'm pretty sure I got from Marshall's as well that is this cute little pineapple I don't know I just think the pineapple looks really cute and classy motivational quote if you will motivational words that I had last year and just kind of stuck it there so I can see it in the morning then I have down here some more like cute little decor I have wake up and slay like I did last year because it is the fall I have this cute little pink pumpkin that I thought kind of tied in well my blessed decor go Tigers because it is actually game day right now when I'm filming this always go Tigers then we have this cute little tray I actually purchased from Marshall's just the other day and for right now I just put my two little rose gold like pencil jars right here and then my Michael Kors because I thought it kind of symmetrically looked good so I kept that there have this cute candle I also got from Marshall's smells so good have it there and then my Amazon Echo back there and then I have these fairy lights that I got from Aldi the little grocery store very inexpensive and I thought it just added a really cool look to wrapping it around this blessed sign. That's everything on here. Got this TV. It's the exact same one as the one downstairs from Sam's. Leaving it down below. The TV console is from Wayfair. Oh and the mirror is from Target I'm pretty sure and it's from last year. So same mirror. Again all the information is in my dorm hall from last year or my dorm tour from last year. So those will be linked down below. Below this we have this rug I had from last year. Purchased it from Walmart. Still ties in because my color schemes are kind of the same. Have it here and it adds a nice little pink touch. We have over here the laundry room. <laughs> laundry room. Really. Laundry basket that I had from last year. One of the two. I left the other one at home because I only just really need one. I have my heater here because I can get a little cold sometimes. Especially sitting here doing schoolwork and work all day long. I get cold sitting in one spot too long so I have a heater. Then we have this innovative idea. I'm going to take a minute and kind of explain this for you guys. So I knew I wanted like a little vanity area but it being separated from my desk area because I already sit here enough in the day and I figured you know break it up a little bit and I knew I needed something to kind of fill the space. So I decided to take this kind of writing desk from Wayfair and turn it into my vanity and I absolutely love it. I think it's the perfect size and it is so functional and has so much practicality. So if you're wondering a way to kind of innovate add in a vanity desk but you don't have maybe the space for it or don't really know if it would be worth taking up a whole like desk space for vanity this is maybe a great alternative we have up here this item that I purchased from Goodwill very inexpensive I have this woodwick handle which you can see is like you know getting kind of low so probably need to purchase another one I have this vase from last year I put in my orangey leaves and my orange flowers and you know fallish so we kept that there I have down here a candle that I got from Marshalls as well. I love this like rose gold mirror top. I think it ties in and then it has like a black and white. So I think it all kind of brings in all the colors again on this shelf. I have this cute little jewelry organizer thing from TJ Maxx. Have a ring and then some like other jewelry in this box. So I just keep it there to be nice and neat. And then down here I pull down the thing and boom we have a vanity area. We remember this mirror before I used to use it on my desk in my dorm but I have utilized it. I put it back here and I have this one little like letter tray. I have my mask back here. I have all of my like little hair ties. Next to that I have a few of like my makeup items like my powder all that stuff and then in here we have our little makeup like moving 
tray thing that we had from last year and has all the other like everyday makeup items that I used right here. And I love this mirror being back here because I can see myself very well. The lighting's pretty decent because there's a window on the left hand side. And all I did was just add this computer desk mat actually that I cut so it could fit this size put it back there and then I bought another one that can fit where I usually do my makeup just to avoid getting a whole bunch of like makeup grime on the white of this particular thing. And I love how this pops out so you know it's enough space when I'm doing my makeup. Then you can push it back in when I need to. Really functional. Down here we have this stool, which I love as well. I got this from Macy's. It's the perfect size because I'm able to stick it under here when I'm done doing my makeup. Have this mirror from last year from Bed Bath & Beyond. Have a whole bunch of like miscellaneous books I'm reading for school and just papers and notebooks and stuff I just kept in this little bin. I'm pretty sure we got it from the dollar section last year at Target. And now moving along to my desk. We have here this big Ikea desk and my favorite part is that it can expand out and it has this like L-shaped look that you can get to it so I can have more desk space when I need to then when I want to have you know more of my room back I can push it back under and we have here the desk hutch that like everybody in their grandma loves that I got last year I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond I have the task lamp I had last year some cute little books that I think kind of fit in the colors You've got gray rose gold all of that working there this magazine holder has different folders and stuff that I needed I have another tray like letter tray that's kind of empty because I wanted more of a minimal look on this shelf so we have another candle from Marshalls. You can see I really went off with the candles from Marshalls that I felt like kind of blended in with the color scheme. And then we have some calculators that I use for school, some of my electronics, my iPad, the MacBook, and then I have a work computer. We have my headphones, the book that I'm reading in my English class right now called Citizen. It's really good, so I'd recommend. All of like my markers, pens, scissors, Apple Pencil, all that is in that little cup thing there. I have back here my lovely little chair. It was about $100 from Staples. I have this blanket back here. I forgot where I got it. I got it last year. I can't remember where I got it. And then we have under here my little storage trunk that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond last year. I have like a whole bunch of like purses. Then I have a cute little desk riser that I keep underneath the desk when I'm not using it. I have all of like my agenda, all of my school books and like notebooks and stuff down there. Some more stuff I need to hang in like computer bags over in that corner. My book bag, that's like a bag of like more decor stuff I'm supposed to hang. So you see there's, there's more to be done in this room, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. My lovely little like artwork wall art that I had last year is still gonna get hung, but I don't know where. So that's why it's still over here in the corner. We have over here these drapes. I got the outer ones from Tuesday morning like I did the ones downstairs and this sheer inner one is from TJ Maxx. The rod is from Big Lots and then we have two ginormous windows. So I love the natural light in this room over here next to those. So we have this lamp. I love the little rose gold touch like hardware. It's from Target and I love this whole like art lamp trend that's kind of going on right now. I think it just adds a very cool like mid-century look. So I grabbed that because it works perfectly in this little corner where my my little chair is and it's from home goods I have this like cool little pillow from home goods and it just ties in this little area it's a nice little place to sit other than my desk chair or in my bed I like to do a lot of editing surprisingly over here then I have this cute little throw that I put right there there's my fairy lights again then we have the other side of my bed and I'm pretty sure that's it I've covered everything underneath the bed some under the bed storage I'll show you guys is underneath here so I have some tops that I wear like my casual tees my pants, all that stuff is underneath there. My luggage suitcases. The bed frame is from Wayfair and my mattress, it was a Serta mattress from Sam's. So I got that from Sam's as well as the TV. So that is my room. I'm gonna do a quick overview of that and then we will hop on over to the bathroom. Okay guys, so here is my bathroom. It is kind of like a normal bathroom. So we have the sink area right here. I have this little soap dish that I bought from TJ Maxx and I just use it as like my everyday jewelry holder. So I like to wear these gold hoops basically every day and like this watch. So I just leave those two pieces there. I have my toothbrush right there. 
because it's electric one, so I just kind of keep it there to charge. Then I have this cute soap pump that I got from Home Goods. Love the rose gold detailing there. Then we have over here this cute little marble like toothbrush holder, but I just keep my little like travel toothpaste and stuff in here. My big toothpaste can't fit, so I stick it here. And this is actually a hand towel holder that I got from Bed Bath and Beyond, and I just use it for my little washcloth. So it's super convenient. Love that thing. Like I didn't know about before. Love when I ran into it. Have up here. I have window back here. We keep that closed obviously. I have my old little like marble leaf door stopper there. Thought it was just cute sitting there. Then we have some like spray. I have my trash can. It's like a cute little hammered trash can. I got it from TJ Maxx. I love it. I have this cute little shower curtain that I got from Marshalls and then I have this little curtain rod that I got from TJ Maxx shower curtain rod. Then we have these towels. All of the towels are from Sam's Club. They're like the premium club member version and they're super soft and comfortable. And then I have this little cart thing that I got from Aldi. It was like 30 bucks but I know Ikea has the same exact one so I'll link the Ikea one down below. I have my old little shower caddy that I just kind of have random stuff like random bath stuff in I have my nightcap my skincare some shower gel more towels hand towels I love how right here it has this little foam thing so I just kind of leave my phone in here when I'm like showering we have in here just a little shower area I have all my like normal shower stuff behind the door we have this over the door hook thing that I got from Ross I love that it's rose gold it really adds a cool fun pop I have my robe right here, my night clothes, some hats, have all of my hair ties and bobby pins and scarves and just extra hair care stuff. And there I have my other robe. I have some belts, some like a broom, Swiffer, all my cleaning stuff there. And then we have over here this cute little corner shelf that I got from TJ Maxx and I just house my perfumes, my lotions, all that stuff, brushes, cotton rounds, shampoo, conditioner all that stuff the rug down here is from TJ Maxx and then I have this rug that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond last year that used to be by my desk this is my room and bathroom I think they look so so cute <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell as well so you can be notified when I post my next video we are so close to 100 subscribers so it would mean the world if you did subscribe but also go ahead and check me out over on Instagram and Twitter I know I have some fun videos coming up with the vlogmas season just around the corner so make sure that you're following me over there for those announcements and to see how you can be a part of the fun and until next time I will catch you guys on the flip side bye guys Oh, 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 oh,